Welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over the process of installing Chrome OS Flex on an Intel NUT computer. So this is my first time doing it. So if I run into any issues, you'll see it as I see them. Now what this is, is this is the ability to install Chrome OS on hardware that isn't a Chromebook. So previously, if you wanted to use Chrome OS, you'd go buy a Chromebook. There were some other ways to install it on computers. There was a company that made a way to do it and Google has purchased them. So now we have Chrome OS Flex. So the hardware I'm going to be using is an Intel NUC 5CPYH. It has an Intel Celeron N3050 and this isn't available anymore, but I will put a link below to it if you want to see more about the specs. But I have eight gigabytes of RAM in here and I have a 250 gigabyte Samsung SSD. It's a SATA SSD. So let's start the process. It says try Chrome OS Flex, I'll hit that. It wants me to fill out all this information. I'm going to blur this out, obviously. So I filled all that out. I'll hit try Chrome OS Flex at the bottom. Okay, it looks like it just scrolled us further down on the page. It says view the installation guide. I guess we'll click on that. It says create a USB installer. Click on that. So it says we need to use the Chrome browser. So I'll switch over to that. Go to the Chrome Web Store, so we'll open that up. At the top right, click Add to Chrome. When prompted, click Add Extension. So we'll hit Add to Chrome. This is the Chromebook Recovery Utility. I'll say Add Extension. Okay, I had a message that said it was added to Chrome. It says make sure your Chrome Recovery Utility is turned on. So I'll go to the little puzzle piece here. I see Chromebook Recovery Utility. So if it's showing up in this menu, it's already turned on. So it says build the USB installer in the Chrome browser, launch the Chrome Recovery Utility extension. So let's do that. It says we need an eight gigabyte or larger flash drive or SD card. I'll hit get started. It says select a model from the list. So we'll select that, select a manufacturer. So we want Chrome OS Flex and select a product we have Chrome OS Flex developer unstable. So this is in beta, so you don't want to use this for production use. Select continue. So I have a Samsung Bar 32 gigabyte flash drive in my computer right now. So I'll be using that to create the installer. I'll select my flash drive. I've already inserted it. I'll hit create now. So let's look at the next step here. It says next page. Okay, so we're going to turn off the computer we want to install this on and it will wipe out the computer. So I'm using this computer that I'm not using for anything else. We're going to insert the USB drive. We'll boot the device from the USB drive. So this seems pretty straightforward here. I'll go over that when we get to that point. Okay, this talks about installing it. So let's see how this is doing. Okay, so I'm on a Mac. It says Google Chrome would like to access files on the removable volume, so I'll hit OK. Okay, so it says success, your recovery media is ready. So I'll pull the drive out, I'll hit done. I'll leave these instructions up here in case I need to reference them. So I'll plug this flash drive into the Intel NUC. So I have this mounted on the back of this monitor here. I'll press the power button on it. And now I need to hit a key to choose the boot volume. I think it's F2 on this computer, or it might be F10. Oh, and F10 was the button to open the boot menu on here. I had pressed both, so I wasn't sure which one it was. I want to move down to UEFI USB Samsung flash drive. Now I don't want to get that confused with my SSD, which is here, and I'll hit enter on that. Okay, so the Chrome logo has come up. It says, welcome to Cloud Ready 2.0. I'll hit get started. So here it says install Cloud Ready or try it first. I'll choose the install option. I'll hit next. It says before getting started, make sure you have a backup of your data as it will overwrite your hard drive. And I already went over that, so this will erase your hard drive. I'll hit install Cloud Ready 2.0. It's warning me again that it will erase my hard drive. I'll hit install. So now we have a progress circle and it says it could take up to 20 minutes. And it says the device will automatically shut down when the install is complete. So I'll speed the video up here and we'll come back after it's done installing or if anything else pops up. Okay, that didn't take nearly 20 minutes. So this will shut down, then I'll start it back up so we can look at it. And I'll be removing the USB drive before I do that. It's asking if I want to activate Chromevox, the, the built-in built screen, screen reader. reader for Chrome OS. I'll if say so. no. It says, welcome to Cloud Ready. I'll click Get Started. It wants me to connect to a wireless network. So I'll do that. Here it has the terms of service and we can send feature improvements to Google. I'm going to uncheck that for now. I'll hit accept and continue. It's checking for updates. It's asking who is using this device and I'll say me. So if you're setting it up for a child, you'd choose the second option. I'll hit next. 
now it wants me to sign in, so I'll sign in with my Google account. I'll enter in my password. Now it wants to do two-factor authentication, so I'll do one of those methods. It says sync your Chrome device. So this will sync your browser, bookmarks, passwords, history, things like that between your devices. So I'll say accept and continue. It says let Google use your hardware data to help improve cloud ready. I'll uncheck that for now, I'll hit accept and continue. It says loading Google Assistant. I'll say no thanks on this. It says access your assistant with H-E-Y Google, and I'm not using this on any of my devices, and I don't have a mic currently plugged into this, so I'll say no thanks. And it says I'm all set up, and it says sign me up. I will turn that off, and I'll hit get started. It says welcome to your Chrome device. So if you've ever used Chrome before, this looks like a Chrome desktop. So here we can do things like surf the web by opening up a web browser. We have Gmail, Calendar, Files, Google Meet, and YouTube. Let's open that up. I'll find a video to open. This is my personal video. So this defaulted to 720p. Let's see if it will run at 1080p. This seems pretty good. So if we go down to the bottom right, we have our settings. We have volume, brightness, it's like night mode, screen capture, Bluetooth, notifications, things like that. We can go to all settings here. It shows ethernet here because there is ethernet on this computer, so I should be able to plug this in. It talks about connected devices. And we have places for mouse, keyboard, displays. It says manager apps. So these are all the included apps. So I would say that was fairly seamless to install Chrome OS on this Intel NUC. And this is six years old. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. So I was running Linux on this before. Now I'm still running Linux, but I'm running it as Google Chrome OS Flex. So this could be a good way to give new life into an old computer. Now I don't think it was a requirement, but I would recommend using a solid state hard drive in any old computers. That can really give it a boost. And also upgrade the memory if it's really low on memory. I would recommend at least four to eight gigabytes of RAM. You could probably get by with less than that. And certainly you could install the software on it and see how it runs and then just upgrade after afterwards. But this could be a great option to have a computer set up for a child or maybe even a grandparent or someone who's not very computer savvy because this will keep itself up to date. And I think Google Chrome OS is more secure when you take a hands-off approach than Mac OS or Windows. That's not to say that it can never be compromised, obviously. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.